What up y'all, welcome to the channel, appreciate y'all stopping by, hope you're having an amazing beautiful day, night, whatever it is, that it, time it is that you're watching this video. I know it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded a painting video, but that's because I, if you haven't noticed, I was up on the mic, dropping them hot bars <laughs> that I wrote. That I, I like to do that on the side sometimes, so I figured it'd be cool to drop some music on this channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's going to be a pop-up bar and link in the description of the music that I created. I didn't make the beats or the cover art. Shout out to the Customs of Society and I'm busy for the production, like helping that. So anyways, enough about that. Check that out. It's cool stuff. Hopefully you like it. But in this one, all about music. I actually got inspired with this one and thought, you know, it'd be super cool. Speaking of music. Instead of writing music, it'd be cool to paint an album on a square canvas to make it look like a giant album. I always thought that'd be super cool to have on like a wall. And so I figured that was what I'm gonna do for this video. So I'm still pretty inspired by music, honestly. And I got some cool supplies that I wanna try on this too. So it's gonna be like super cool. It's gonna be a lot of cool new things. I got this Duraclear iridescent, iridescent, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Iridescent varnish. You can laugh at me all you want. It's okay, but this varnish is like blue, so it's got like a blue shiny gloss. So I have a feeling it's gonna make it look reflective and shiny, like a shiny Yu-Gi-Oh card or Pokemon card. So I think that'd be super cool. I have to look up videos to see exactly how it's gonna look, but and then I got these color shifting uh, folk art paints. They're acrylic and they they do the same thing. They reflect reflective in the sun just give it that shiny feel so i think this is going to be super cool that was a pretty long introduction but without further ado let's get started on that right away all right y'all so i just want to say starting off right quick this painting is actually in honor of Dolph because uh unfortunately he passed away on november 17th so let's take a moment of silence for Dolph. And yeah, I actually intended to uh, have this video out a little bit sooner. It, I started recording this December 10th, and I had the idea to make a painting based off an album a while ago, but unfortunately, Dolph passed in that time that I was trying to think of a video idea, and I just thought, I'm going to do this in honor of Dolph, because honestly, man, this one hurt. I just started listening to Dolph maybe like a couple years ago, maybe three years ago. The first song I really liked by him was uh, Trick or Treat. So I was kind of a little bit late in the game of listening to Dolph, but I heard the name definitely a long time ago. But Trap isn't really like my most favorite genre of all. There's really few artists. I mean, I love rap and I love trap beats, but there's really a few artists that I can really listen to their music. Cause you know, there's a lot of like phony trap rappers out there and I don't know, I just like, if you're gonna be making trap music, it's gonna be like something real. And Dolph was just like super hustle, <laughs> motivating music, man. And I just love listening to his music when I went to the gym and when I was like doing DoorDash for a time, blasting his stuff on the subwoofers. And you know, it just hits different now, man. And this uh, painting definitely has a, a place in my heart. Oh man. <laughs> I didn't think I was actually gonna get emotional. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it off until I, I can uh, regain myself. No, I should be good right now, actually. Bam, man, it sucks. I decided to go with this painting specifically because uh, this was one of his first albums I actually downloaded and took the time to listen to the whole thing, the whole thing through. Uh, also, like, shout outs to Key Glock and the whole Paper Route Empire. They're gonna hold it down for for Paper Route, you know? The, it just sucks that uh, the, the, the foundation, the main man, is gone, but, you know, we still have these other great artists, and it's just unfortunate, man. I'm tired of seeing this artist, these artists pass away, man. They have so much potential. <sighs> But anyways, I didn't want to make this video too long. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I'm just going <laughs> to get more emotional the more I talk. So, appreciate y'all stopping by. I'm just going to wrap it up here. This painting will be up on sale on my website. It's going to be a hard one to let go for sure. So, But if you're interested, that will be in the link. And uh, until next time, y'all. Long live Dolph. Peace and love. Got videos coming out. Until next time, I'm out.